The Arctic is the most rapidly changing place on the planet. And why that matters is because the global climate system is intimately connected to the Arctic and its future. Science is gonna provide an understanding of the core of the problem, um, but many other disciplines, social science, the arts, economics, all these are gonna to have to work together because this is a complex interactive problem. But science is at the core of understanding the future of the environment in the Arctic and Arctic impacts on the global system. JSIP is the Joint Science Education Project funded by the U.S. National Science Foundation and the Government of Greenland. It brings students from Greenland, Denmark, and the U.S. for a three-week field course in Greenland covering the geosciences. JSIP is succeeding because it's building a new generation of students and scientists who are prepared to tackle the complex social and scientific issues of a changing Arctic. We ensure that the program leadership reflects the diversity of the students, allows all of our students to see role models in the leadership, and it also helps us come together and create a curriculum and activities that are able to effectively engage all of our diverse students. One thing that's really important about the JSEP classroom is that over half of their participants are from Greenland. They provide a really important and helpful connection to Arctic cultures and an immense amount of knowledge to help us understand the Arctic in a more holistic way. So the JSEP program uh, brings the principles of Institute Park Studies, the equity, the inclusion, the excellence in scholarship, by actually using the design of the program inclusively and equitably. It works with both the Denmark and Greenland and people in the U.S. to create the program, not just run it. So that kind of information of how do we even think about how we design a program and thinking about the Arctic people and uh, Arctic ways of knowing as we design the program and implement it with high school students and teaching about climate science and engagement with different cultures is really unique and fits the ethos and the the ethics of the Institute of Arctic Studies at Dartmouth. The students in JSEP are living together and working together in an experiential classroom. They are involved in all aspects of the day-to-day -day of working together in addition to uh, the research process. That starts out with them learning how to ask a good scientific question and then carrying it all the way through to designing studies, um, procedures in the lab and the field, and then interpreting and communicating their results. What brought me towards the program was this love for science and this passion to do something outside of my comfort zone. I know I grew up in a, not the best neighborhood, um, so there wasn't a lot of outdoor opportunities or resources to engage in the environment. So this trip was offering fully paid experience to one of the polar regions and it sounded like a deal to me. I would recommend JSEP to other students because of what a great opportunity it is to be able to go to Greenland. Before going to Dartmouth, I was probably one of the few people from Hawaii that said they've ever been to Greenland or ever had the chance to like experience life on Greenland. And I think getting that hands-on experience one-on-one -on -one with like researchers living there and also like researchers like studying the climate change aspects, being able to have that like first-hand field of research experience is Amazing. The value of engaging students in inquiry-based scientific research is that it teaches them about the process by which new knowledge is acquired and integrated with existing knowledge. And with the explosion of knowledge and the increasing needs for new knowledge, this is probably a more important skill than teaching them what we know today. The availability of mentoring and professional development at JSEP is something different than I've ever experienced in any of the rest of my teaching career. But for me, the professional development, it happens all year long. And while I'm working with these colleagues who are intergenerational as well as international, we have teachers and educators that are coming from different backgrounds and experiences. And you just learn so much when there's this cultural diversity. My experience at JSEP involved three things essentially. So like learning how to teach, working in diverse classrooms, and thirdly is collaboration. It's one of my goals after graduation is to actually like work with education back home in Nigeria, where I'm from. And the teaching experience at JSEP was just a full immersion. Like I've worked as a um, TA before, but being able to be involved in the total work stream of like developing the modules down to working hand in hand with the students was exceptional. 
science is grounded in asking questions based on observations and coming up with answers that are based on data, it's really important that when we are asking big questions about our world, whether it's climate change, our health policies, and when there's an intersection with our society and making policies and decisions, that, that they are grounded in science. And so if we can help students appreciate the importance of science and the value in having data-driven decision-making, it's going to be a powerful tool, no matter what field the students end up pursuing after you know, college and, and further in their life. Thank you.